Hi, this is Mary, and I'm here talking to my friend Beth Wofford about the benefits of ASEA and uh, what people are, are finding when they try it. And Beth, I know what you've dealt with with your hormone levels in, for years and years, but I would love for you to tell everybody listening what you've gone through with since your hysterectomy. Absolutely. Ten years ago, and I've always considered myself 100% healthy. I've always just had very high energy. I work outside for a living. I'm in a physical environment and really been blessed with wonderful health. Um, I've been hurt a lot because of the nature of my other work, but, but I heal back really well and I have, you know, I'm 56 years old and I have no arthritis and I sleep like a rock and I do all this kind of thing. So when I, I also have had my own wellness business for 10 years and when I was introduced to this product because of it being a wellness product and how amazing it is and I was immediately intrigued with the science behind it and, and the possibilities and this safety factor that it can't hurt you. So um, I immediately began taking it because I just felt like um, I just want to see what it's all about and I would love to share it as well with people because I love sharing any, any wellness, positive, and wellness and alternative things to see if it will help people. Um, I was not expecting a response because I feel great, uh, but I really started feeling, I, there was definitely something different happening when I was started taking ASEA and I started feeling changes and I couldn't quite pinpoint what it was and I knew that these redox signaling molecules were doing something for me that were beneficial because I knew intellectually that this made sense. But I couldn't pinpoint what was happening, so I went and asked a friend of mine who's a doctor, and we, he was asking me some about my medical history, and I shared with him that 10 years ago, during um, right after my hysterectomy, my body really revolted, and I do not metabolize estrogen at all. So when I had my hysterectomy, I had about six to eight months where I was very ill. I was really achy, had horrible migraine headaches regularly, almost daily. Um, I was, I felt really awful. I was ex extremely fatigued, very unlike me, my natural state. Um, and with my doctor's help, I, I tried every oral kind of estrogen. I tried every kind of patch. I tried uh, bioidentical hormone creams that were made to go exactly to my blood type and to my metabolism, nothing worked, nothing helped me except for two of the strongest doses, uh, the strongest patches made. I found one kind of estrogen patch and I wore two of the strongest they make. Now I've heard you say that even if one of those patches peeled up a little Absolutely. bit or wrinkled, you could tell that within was wrong. hours. Within hours, that's how sensitive I was to estrogen. If I one of if something kind of wrinkled them up, if I swam or something, and they one of them got wrinkled, I go, Why am I feeling this way? This feels really awful. And sure enough, that was the problem. If I forgot to change them one night, I changed them at night. And if I forgot to change them at night, I'd wake up the next morning and sit bolt right, <gasps> and I'd race into the bathroom and change them quickly, thinking maybe my body wouldn't notice. <laughs> and within, by 2 o'clock that afternoon, I would be really sick again. So I had issues, but I felt fine as long as I wore this dangerous dose of estrogen. I also was told by two different pharmacists that they would not fill my prescription because, of, because it was such a dangerous level. Um, and they tried to explain to me why this was, you shouldn't be t doing this. And I said, look, if, if I died tomorrow, that's f I, I, it, I have no choice because of my quality of life is impossible if I don't do this. So I didn't want to hear any of the, of the risk factors that I had put in play through all of this. And so when my, the, my doctor friend who knew about ASEA, and he said, you know, I think for the very first time, your body is, is metabolizing estrogen the way it is designed to do. It's working the way it's designed. And I think you have too much estrogen in your system. So, and I, so how long had you been on the ASEA before you started feeling something changing? About a week to ten days, I couldn't ignore it. I, so I was thinking, there's something really unusual here. And uh, it wasn't horrible, it was just a, a change, and I felt there was, uh, there was a change in energy, there was a change in things, and I thought, this is really curious. So um, when he said, would you be, I would be willing to help you wean off these if you'd be willing to try, and I said, are you kidding? I would love to get off synthetic estrogen. And uh, I began the process, and it was, a, it was a, exactly... Uh, Ironically, I, it was exactly two months to the day of my first dose of ASEA 
that I was off synthetic estrogen 100%. I am I'm zero synthetic estrogen, and I feel wonderful. That's so, amazing. And I've had many healthcare professionals say, do you realize w what you have done for your for the future of your health by getting off the estrogen the way you did? It, it was really, and this is like something, this has become <laughs> sacred to me. I never go anywhere without my ASEA. <laughs> So it was very profound in my book. It's a miracle in my book. <laughs> so are you taking it um, two ounces, four ounces, twice a day, twice a day? Two ounces in the morning and two ounces at night before I go to sleep. All right. So cool. that's great. Well, well thank you surprised. so much for sharing. I think that's that's something that a lot of women, well, probably some men who deal with women with health <laughs> issues. <laughs> probably the husbands <laughs> of women probably need it more well, than anybody. Well, I actually like hearing, yeah. Absolutely. Options. Thank you. Sure, thanks.